Well, it's with great pleasure that I welcome Rashid Ismailov, who is the Deputy Minister of Telecom and Mass Communications for the Russian Federation. Mr Ismailov, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm glad you could be here with us. Now, Russia has some particular challenges. It's a big country, the biggest. It's sparsely populated. But I understand you've got some uh, ambitious targets, shall we say, in terms of broadband. Tell us about those targets and the challenges in meeting them. Well, this is a quite challenging target because we have to bring broadband to each and every settlement in Russia, towns and villages that are uh, equal or bigger than 250 people, inhabitants. And, uh, you know, according to the plan, we have to build 200,000 kilometers of fiber optics. And that's quite challenging, assuming the territory and assuming the weather conditions and the climate and, uh, and, and the distance. That's the first challenge. So, you, do you, so that's your target. When do you have to do that, Brian? What's... That is uh, by 2018, we ha have an ambition to 90% uh, of our population to get connected to that one. Okay. Um, that's where you want to go. Where are you now? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, I haven't got the recent, you know, data as regards, but we, uh, we are developing, I must say. I think that 50% is over okay. of the target. And so the challenge then is essentially a logistical one, is getting it, this, this infrastructure is, out. It is logistics, obviously. It is, uh, I mean, the distance, that's the biggest uh, challenge actually itself. Then it, uh, there are some challenges as regards to the business because, I mean, obviously business wants to go there where, where the business case exists. I mean, there's no business case usually with these small towns and villages. But we have a so-called fund of universal communication services where we are accumulating the funds and we're subsidizing this project with this. Okay, so what do you think will be the dividend? What will be the benefit for Russian society from this project? Always get connected and have the right and uh, to, to to get an access to to the broadband to internet. Well, one uh, one of the benefit is that uh, in the towns and villages that we see where we put the broadband and where you know IT and internet exists. For example, the consumption of alcohol is uh, getting down. Is that right? Just uh, quite bold, straightforward. So you can draw because a direct the, line. The young generation, they have something that they can, you know, make themselves busy with. Okay. So there's a, a community yeah. dividend as well yeah. as... A... They have an access to the social networks. They can, you know, be informed about the recent and the most modern, you know, innovations or uses and, you know, trends and so far and so forth. So they don't feel themselves, you know, excluded from the mainstream of, of the society developing. And those smaller villages where the rollout has already occurred, are they enthusiastic um, adopters of the internet once it comes to town? Yeah, the younger generation especially. I mean, we have already quite, you know, big uh, percentage of broadband accessible pe people and uh, it, you know it's it's not like uh, it's, it's not stiff or rigid I mean the, the society is developing and the new generations are coming and uh, it's it's quite a pattern I mean when every, when somebody is talking about the internet they're giving the examples of their children of the younger generations how they are keen with the gadgets with the mobile how they can easily you know get connected you know right uh, macrosis or whatever but that is it that is that's the general trend now having in mind that we still have uh, quite good um, school education this is on top of that this is improving their uh, overall educational you know capabilities and, uh, well deputy minister ismailov i thank you very much for your time today